Hi, I'm Joanne Risden with Smart Image Media. We're back with Ernie Garfield, our friend and friend of the entrepreneur. And today we're going to talk a little bit about financing for small business. How do you secure that loan? We did talk a little bit about one-year plans, and honestly, I kind of thought that was a golden ticket to a loan, that you had to have all that established. But he's saying you really need to be that out-of-the-box entrepreneur that makes that adjustment in the marketplace, in the economic climate, whether it's political or whatever direction this nation's going have to be aware of all of that and also within your own state. And so uh, let's go ahead and talk about how do you even secure a loan for a small business? What do they need to have in place, our friends that are entrepreneurs out there? Well, most entrepreneurs don't have uh, that all set up. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons they run into problems with the big banks. Whereas with a small bank, they will help you uh, put together the data that, you, that they want. Uh, and, uh, and that's you know, that just is very helpful to a small business because it's just like in my own business, um, I don't handle that aspect of the business. Um, my job is, uh, is to uh, have a little different vision than, than I would have if I were a CPA-like person. And so consequently, I have people that do that for me and, mm -hmm. uh, and it helps an awful lot. Well, good. So uh, the small bank is actually going to come in and tell you what you need to put in place, yes, what yes. they need to know yes. to help you secure that yes. loan. Are yes. they interested in you getting that loan? Well, that's how they make their money. Okay. See, whereas the big banks have other ways of making money, and consequently, when you place your assets in that bank, they may end up across the world somewhere else, whereas the local bank typically ends up right in your backyard, and that's where the multiplier effect comes in. Okay, so not only is it easier to get a loan with a small bank, uh, not only do they understand your business more, but they also understand the climate of your state, the, um, like Arizona or California or... Yes, I, I think you're right. I, uh, I, I was stalling on the word easier because you have to um, make sure that you do put, up, put the right information together that they ask for, mm -hmm. but uh, at least you Yes, it's easier through them, whereas a big bank is generally not interested in a loan that is very small because a big bank can make a $10 million loan for the same overhead as they would make a $250,000 loan, and whereas the economies of scale for a small bank are different. So they're more interested in the loans for two fifty to a million, a million and a half dollars. Oh, okay. So um, for the smaller loans are actually what they're interested oh, yeah. in as well. And well, so and they're big to entrepreneurs. So yeah, but they're, the banks are limited in the size loan they can make, mm -hmm. and uh, the limit depends on whether it's a state charter or a national charter. And uh, they cannot make if you're a national charter, you can't make more than an amount equal to twenty five percent of your capital to any one entity. And, and any bank that does that is crazy because I try to make sure the banks don't loan more than 10% of their capital to any one entity. Uh, so that does limit the amount of the size of the loan, uh, whereas a bank uh, can go make that $10 million loan and, and uh, do quite well at it. Okay, and so when you're Good looking at it, what do you think some of the key things that if we're if they're going to help you pull a loan together is it i mean a lot of entrepreneurs put up their home as collateral yes that's is, right. is there any way to avoid that or is that something that um, when they put information together it depends you, on their financial statement right and depends on how long their history uh, it depends on their relationships they've had with the bank uh, uh, it, it may be different if this is the fourth or fifth loan that they've had with the bank and if they had a good record of, yeah, and that's each banker is different that way. Okay. Well, I know I have a maybe a lot a limited amount of knowledge compared to you, but I keep hearing over and over again that uh, you know the government's fueling small business, and and mm -hmm. I thought that they were giving um, part of the money to banks to loan out to small businesses. Yes. Is that yeah. happening? Or? Small business administration loans. Uh, as a matter of fact, you hit right on it because uh, one of the things that Republic Bank has done and Pinnacle Bank has done is they focus some of their attention on providing uh, the guaranteed small business administration loans. And what they do with those is they sell them off. So they then keep uh, a portion of it, perhaps the uninsured portion, and they keep the service fee uh, that they get when they sell off the loan to a bigger bank. So they're interrelated in, in that respect. Okay, and so you're saying, um, and what did you call that loan again? 
Small Business Administration on SBA loan. Okay, the SBA loan is for yeah. you. I mean, yeah. if you're going to go looking, you have your documents in order. Yeah. Go to a bank to have yeah. that, have them help you with that. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, there's other things that are going to come into. It. Is it true that um, an SBA loan has to be um, actually? It's guaranteed by the government, but if the bank doesn't have all the information documents in order, the government will say, hey, you didn't have all your information, eggs in a basket, so we're not going to cover this loan? Yes, and there again, uh, you need to make sure that you have people on your staff or on your board that understand that, because I had one bank in, uh, that we did in Oregon that lost half a million dollars when they made this, uh, this guaranteed SBA loan because they didn't understand what they were doing. And they thought, well, we can do it, and, uh, and it cost them half a million bucks. Right. So it's like anything else, you know, the, you, you better darn well understand what you're getting into as a bank. Right. And so, you know, the, the interesting thing is that they want to fuel the economy, but yet it's still hard to get that SBA loan because you have to, or is it? Is it hard? Uh, not. I don't know the answer because if you go to a bank that is, that is doing that, um, it, it, it's not that difficult, but if you go to a bank that isn't familiar with it, the chance of getting it is slim to none. Okay. And so, so you're saying look for the banks that are uh, qualified for SBA loans yes. that can hand that out. And then also, um, do you have websites people can research oh, yeah, some of these? Oh yeah, I've got that. Okay. Uh, let me give you another example. I got a call last week from uh, a, a um, business development officer for the city of Phoenix. And they now have a program where they can contribute to the bank the amount uh, to offset some of the collateral requirements. Oh, good. Yeah, uh, and they're just introducing it. I don't know how it'll work, but the point is it's out there if you take the time to understand it and learn it. Now, if you, again, want to drive down the street blindly and knock on the door of a bank, uh, good luck. Okay, so the important thing is to research your banks, yeah. um, get everything in order, find mm -hmm. a bank that's a friend that's going to help you do that your local bank, and then um, look at even at an SBA loan, uh, someone who specializes yes, right. that in that, like Ernie's yes, banks right. do. Okay, well that's Ernie Garfield uh, sharing information about banking to help you as an entrepreneur and also get the financing you need for your business. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm Joanne Risden with Smart In Image Media and Ernie Garfield, and we'll see you in the next segment. We're going to be reviewing his passion. Thank you, Joanne.